All right. Uh, we'll be solving the question above. It says, so that uh, constant pressure minus constant volume is equal to uh, the absolute temperature, uh, then uh, this one here is a cubic uh, expansion square, then volume all over what compressibility factor. So we are going to prove this. All right. Now, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to recall from our uh, internal energy. We know that, let me start by writing solution. All right. We know that uh, internal energy is a function of the function of temperature and volume. Function of temperature and volume. So we are going to take the differential uh, the, the, uh, we are going to differentiate the dependent variable here, which is u, and of course, we have been doing that from our previous video. All right, so if we differentiate this, the u will be equals to the partial derivation of u respect the, over the partial derivative of t, keeping v constant, the t, plus the partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v. Uh, keeping t constant the v. All right, so this is what we are going to have here. All right, now we are going to recall carefully that what is here is nothing but tv is nothing but the u, that is the partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of t, keeping v constant. Then we can therefore say our du, our du is equal to tv the t, the t plus plus partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v, keeping t constant the v. All right. Now, the next thing we are going to do here is uh, very simple, a quick one. We are going to uh, recall from the first law of thermodynamics, from the first law of thermodynamics that uh, the Q, the Q is nothing but the U plus T TV. And from here, we already have our DU here. This is our DU. Our DU is CV dt plus a partial derivative of U all over partial derivative of V, keeping T constant TV. All right. So now we are going to substitute. Let's call this equation one. And let me call this equation two. All right, so we are going to substitute for the u. We are going to substitute this uh, uh, expression here for the u in our uh, first law of thermodynamics. All right, which is the q will be equals to tv tv dt dt plus plus the partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v keeping t constant, dv plus t dv. All right, and you are going to note carefully that dv is common. Sorry, this one supposed to be dv. All right, so the q will be equals to tv dt plus, so let's keep, let's factor out dv. We factor out dv, of course, we are going to have this as partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v, keeping t constant, plus t into the v. All right, now this is what we are going to have. All right, now what is uh, the next thing we are going to do? You are going to recall carefully that for reversible constant prayer process, for reversible, for reversible constant prayer process, Constant prayer process that our DQ is nothing but CP dt. All right. So if it is like that, we can therefore substitute. We are going to replace the Q here with what is here. So we are going to say CP dt is equals to CV dt 
plus the partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v, keeping t constant plus t into the v. All right. So now I cannot move this to this other side. So I'm going to have cv dt minus cv dt equals to what? Equals to equals to we are going to have this as a I'm going to have this as partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v, keeping t constant plus t into the v. All right, so you can therefore see that the t is as well common, so we can factor it out. So we are going to have cv minus cv into the t, which is equal to what? Which is equal to partial derivative of u all over the partial derivative of v keeping t constant plus t into the v all right so now the next thing we are going to do here is we are going to divide through by the t so dividing through by the t by divide through by the t the t then for this we cancel out this then we'll be left with what we'll be left with cp minus cv to be equals to what? It's going to be equals to partial derivative of u all over what? All over the partial derivative of v, all over the partial derivative of v, keeping t constant plus t, uh, then into, let me put this in brackets, into v, then let's put this, multiply by the v all over the t. All right, now I can I can write this in form of what? In form of a partial differentiation. So writing this in form of partial differentiation, we are going to have this as CP minus CV, which is equals to, of course, I can rewrite P first here as well. The same thing as P plus partial derivative of U all over the partial derivative of V, keeping T constant. Then for me to write this in form of partial uh, fraction, it's going to be partial uh, partial <clears throat> differentiation of uh, v all over the partial differentiation of t, keeping p constant. All right, keeping p constant. So now the next thing is you are going to recall carefully. I have done this program. You can check on our. Uh, uh, you can check our channel for this. Uh, proving I'm not going to be doing it here. You are going to recall. You are going to recall carefully. Recall carefully that uh, the partial differentiation of p all over the partial differentiation of t, keeping v constant, is nothing but one all over t into everything we are having here. So it's going to be into p plus the partial differentiation of u. All over the partial dimension of the keeping t constant. All right. So now I want to make what is here the subject. If I want to make this the subject, I'm going to cross multiply then. This t will come back here. There will be having this. So it shows that p plus the partial dimension of u all over the partial dimension of v, uh, keeping uh, keeping t constant will be equal to what will be equal to p into the partial differentiation of p all over partial differentiation of p keeping v constant all right so therefore means i can replace what is here now with just this all right so now i'm going to have cp minus cv to be equals to what to be equals to t into partial differentiation of p all over the partial differentiation of t keeping v constant in multiplying uh, the partial dimension of v all over the partial dimension of t, keeping p constant. All right. I believe uh, this point is well analyzed. All right. Now, the next thing we are going to do is uh, very simple. So we are just going to recall from uh, our uh, k factor, which we call the uh, compressibility factor, which is nothing but we are going to recall that k is equal to nothing but what minus one over v into what into the partial differentiation of v 
partial differentiation of B all over the partial differentiation of T, keeping T constant. And uh, we are also going to recall from, we have, we have also established this on our channel. You can check that from the uh, relationship between cubic expansion and, uh, and uh, cubic expansion and a compressibility factor. You can check that. We established that the P all over the partial differentiation of T, keeping V constant, is equal to uh, beta, that is cubic expansion, all over what compressibility factor. We have uh, proved this. You can check our uh, uh, previous video on this. All right. Now, if you look at this uh, uh, expression that is here, and uh, what is here? What do you notice? We notice something. But uh, let's check something out. We are also going to recall from Maxwell equation. Let's replace what is here from Maxwell equation. That is the P all over the T, uh, keeping V constant. We are also going to get this. All right, from Maxwell equation, we, from Maxwell equation, from Maxwell, from Maxwell equation, we know that the partial differentiation of T all over the partial differentiation of T, keeping V constant, is equal to the partial differentiation of S all over the partial differentiation of V, keeping T constant. All right. So if I... So, you know, I've established three things here, this, this, and this. All right, so now let's go back to our original equation from this place. Now, from CP, we have CP minus CV to be equals to, to be equals to T into T into, now we have uh, the partial differentiation of P all over partial differentiation of T, keeping V constant. And from Maxwell equation, it's telling us that it's equals to the partial differentiation of S, partial differentiation of S all over the partial differentiation of V, keeping T constant. Then we'll be left with the partial differentiation of V, partial differentiation of V all over the partial differentiation of T, keeping T constant. All right. Now, the next thing is from K, we said K is equals to minus one, all over V into the partial differentiation of we said K is equal to minus one all over V into the partial differentiation of V all over the partial differentiation of P, keeping T constant. All right, you can see. Keeping T constant. All right, we can see that uh, if we make the partial differentiation of V all over the P, the subject, all right, so from here, from here, uh, there's a slight uh, mistake here. I mistakenly put K. We don't need K here. The, well, the thing we need here is beta. So let me replace this with beta. This is the cubic expansion. So we know that the cubic expansion beta is nothing but one all over V into, into the partial differentiation of V. This is the partial differentiation of V all over the partial differentiation of T, partial differentiation of T, keeping V constant. All right. So let's clean this part. All right. So now from there, from there, you can see that, uh, you can see that, hold on. Uh, sorry, I missed a mistake. What is here supposed to be P if we are keeping P constant, please not T. All right, sorry. All right, now, so from there, let me bring back our beta here. We have beta to be equals to 1 all over V into partial derivation of V all over partial derivation of T, keeping P constant. How do I know? I already know that from this part, something must happen. That's why I keep on looking at it. So I know I made a mistake. All right, now, from here now, I want to make what is here the subject of formula because we are having it here. So if I make this the subject, I'm going to have it as 
partial differentiation of b all over the partial differentiation of c, uh, keeping p constant to be equals to uh, beta b. All right. So uh, then we are now going to make a uh, substitution here now. We are going to make some substitution here now. So this is our original equation now. Now we have, have an expression for this, which is beta b. And uh, here we know that partial deviation of s all over partial deviation of uh, b respect to t is nothing but uh, is nothing but what is here from Maxwell equation. Let me clean this up. All right, so we can therefore make our substitution now. P p minus P v will be equals to t into p into uh, partial deviation of uh, x all over partial deviation of uh, v, keeping t constant from Maxwell equation is uh, this. So we are going to replace this with this. So we are going to have the partial deviation of p all over the partial deviation of t, keeping a uh, v constant. Then we move on. We have the partial deviation of v all over the partial deviation of t, keeping p constant, which is giving us beta v. So we are going to replace it with what? Beta v. Beta v. All right. Now, I've already established it from this uh, uh, point that the partial differentiation of uh, p all over the partial version of t, keeping v constant, is nothing but what? Beta over what? Over k. So we can replace what is here with beta over k. So we are going to say partial version of, c, uh, of p minus uh, uh, CV is equals to P multiplied by this is nothing but what beta all over what K multiplied by beta V. All right, so we can therefore say CP minus CV is equals to P into beta multiplied by beta is going to give us beta square B all over K. So here hence the proof to this. Uh, question. So this is how to show uh, this. So please don't forget to join our WhatsApp group and see the link in the comment section. And uh, please don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up to like, to share, and to subscribe.